All right, back now with Lily Garcia, president of the National Education Association and a Clinton supporter and former Georgia Congressman Jack Kingston, who is a senior advisor to the Trump campaign. And Congressman, I want to start with uh, Donald Trump meeting with the National uh, Hispanic Advisory Council for Trump yesterday, uh, sitting down with a group of uh, Hispanic leaders across the, uh, the community. And this is an advisory council, but the statement from the RNC says that uh, he met with the group to ensure the Hispanic community, quote, understands Mr. Trump's proposals. From my understanding, an advisory board is to offer advice, that the candidate listens to their advice. Shouldn't this be the other way around, that he listens to them instead of simply telling them what, what he <coughs> believes? Well, absolutely, he listens to them. Um, I don't think we need to trip on words. The engagement is extremely important, and he's going to start doing this more and more with African-American leaders, as, by the way, he already has been doing. As you know, he's reached out, and he said, look at the economic policies that we now have. We need jobs in our communities around America. We have 94 million people who are underemployed or unemployed. We have 43 million people on food stamps. The household income has fallen from $57,000 to $53,000. And we have the lowest home ownership rate in the history, or at least in the last 50 years. And what he's saying is, look, if you want the status quo, if you want a third year, a third term of Barack Obama, then you have somebody who's standing by ready to give it to you. But if you want change, and you want to have something different, then we need to elect an outsider, somebody who's not bought and paid for by Wall right. Street and special interests. Let's go to, to Lily. He's now meeting with uh, this advisory board. There seems to be a, a bit more discipline here. Some of those wild tweets uh, have, have been uh, curtailed. Uh, he's now on, on teleprompter. Your concerns about uh, what seems to exactly. be in some so way uh, um, uh, some discipline from Donald Trump. This one, this one hits home for me uh, because he has insulted immigrant families like my own family. Uh, you can't put that back in a bottle. You can't mask that with um, a teleprompter speech. It doesn't matter how many, uh, how many people um, advise him on what not to say. We already know how he feels. We have, we've heard all of the racist rants, the sexist rants. Uh, you know, it, I'm a sixth grade teacher from Utah. Uh, any one of my kids saying half of the things he said this year would be on detention uh, for bullying. Uh, this is immature behavior. It is unacceptable. This is not a man that's not only not qualified, he's not worthy to be president. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought up the outreach to minority communities. He cannot fix the damage that he's done. And it's why, um, it's why he's not going to win, and it's why he has to go uh, on these extraordinary trips to go to people and saying, um, I didn't really mean what you heard me say. Right. Yes, he did. All right, Lily Garcia, uh, Congressman Kingston, thank you both. We'll continue this conversation. And what we saw again for a fourth consecutive day, Donald Trump also reaching out to African-American voters. We'll talk about that next hour. Thank you both.